Another Twitter app that's really good for uh, power users and might be my uh, favorite uh, Twitter app on the iPad so far is TweetDeck. This is a fan favorite on the desktop and they've really done a good job of taking advantage of the vast amount of space on the iPad. Uh, there's a lot of features here, some of which require you to have a TweetDeck account, which I don't. We're just going to give you a really quick overview. Uh, the basic idea of TweetDeck is that it gives you uh, multiple Twitter streams and so you can uh, scroll horizontally through your different Twitter streams and we can even look at it in this view and you can see I've got two accounts signed up here and I'm looking at uh, all friends and mentions for one account, all friends and mentions for another account. And in fact what you can do is you can um, hold down and you can you know rearrange how you want the columns to go. You can even just get rid of a column. So for example I got rid of my direct message column because I didn't want you guys to see it on this video, um, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can also add custom columns. So for example, uh, here's my default Twitter account is Backlon and uh, we'll do a Twitter search and we'll say uh, iPad and we'll even accept well, we'll do that. We'll just do it that way. And now we have a uh, column for uh, all recent stuff that all the recent stuff people say iPad. Of course, there's a lot of those. You can refresh each column, uh, you know, one by one, which is pretty neat. You can go into the settings here. You can manage your accounts. You can set up your TweetDeck account. You've even got settings for you know what services you want to use and so on. It's uh, it's pretty darn full featured. Um, and of course you can have multiple accounts and you can refresh everything. So this uh, this landscape view gives you a, a view of everything and say there's a link or something you want to check out you can uh, tap on it, it shows you use your different replies, you know, retweet, send a direct message, etc. Or if you tap directly on the link looks like you might need to do that in portrait. So we'll switch to portrait mode. So when you're in portrait mode, you have the same columns here, but you also have this nice huge view of the tweet up top, and when you have that huge view of the tweet, there we go, you can tap on the link, and it will open it up in a uh, little mini browser window so you can see just what was linked without having to exit out of the app. And you can see what we're looking at here is a uh, column by Roger Ebert. If we go back to landscape, it goes away and then we crash the app. That's too bad. We can try it again here. There we go, Netflix on the iPad. And then, and then you can view it into Safari, jump out of that app, and take a look at it right here in Mobile Safari, if you like to roll that way. So there you go, you get multiple columns, you get multiple accounts, you're able to track quite a lot of information on Twitter. You can see even down here at the bottom there's a nice little indicator that shows you how many columns you have and how many are being shown on the screen right now, which is pretty slick. And of course, you can send a tweet out. Pretty nice little look here. You can choose which accounts you want to send from. You can send from multiple accounts. Of course you can add links and photos and geolocation and hashtags and so on. Uh, it is actually very good. So if you are a power Twitter user, you can do a lot worse than TweetDeck on the iPad.